So today I'm going to show you all how I have my passing system set up. So it's very similar to the player switching video. Uh, if you haven't watched that video, I'll link it in the in the description for you to check out. Uh, so pretty much we have a passing script that lives on our team component. If we go into the passing script, um, we can see that we have input direction and direction two. These methods are gonna be used to find the player in the direction that we're pointing our left stick at. Um, and then we've got two methods. We've got pass to the closest player and pass to the player in direction. Now, pass the player in direction is the one that's gonna get used most often because more times than not, we are gonna be giving input on the left stick. So we wanna pass the ball in the, in the direction of them. Uh, before we get into those methods, we'll see we are calling them up here in the update method. If we press the pass button and we have possession of the ball and the input axis of horizontal and vertical are equal to zero, so we're not touching the left stick at all when we press the pass button, then we're going to pass to the closest player. Uh, but if we are giving input, any input whatsoever, whether it be horizontal or, ver or vertical, we're gonna pass it a player in the direction that we're pointing to. So here we got pass the closest player. Uh, it's gonna use a link statement to sort through all of the team players, um, all except for the current player, and order those by their distance to the current player. So then we're gonna find the direction of this player that's closest to us his position minus the ball's position and normalize that uh, so now we've got the direction we want to pass the ball to so now we can remove all constraints on the ball remove its parent unparent it and then we add the force to the direction times the pass force force mode impulse uh, team current player uh, okay then we just make the current player have possession equals false. So pass it a player in the direction instead of getting the closest player to our current player is going to pass to the player closest in the direction that we're pointing the left stick. So it's going to it's going to sort through all the team players all except for the current player order them by their angle by the angle of the input direction and the direction of the player relative to the current player. Um, so then the then we get the direction of what was returned up here of the player closest to the direction we're pointing the left stick minus the ball's position. And again, we do what we did up, up here we set no constraints on the ball, unparent the ball, and then add force in the direction that we're pointing to and has possession equals false. It's really hard to wrap your mind around it, but if you really take the time to dig into it, uh, it, does, it does make sense after, after a while. It may take a little bit if link statements are new to you. But that is it. That, that is what gets the passing system working. If you made it to the end, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you could give me a like and a follow, and that would really help me out with YouTube's algorithm.